Hello and welcome to the first tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 tutorial series. In this part we're just going to be looking at what is Cocos 2D JS. Well, Cocos 2D JS is Cocos 2D X engine JavaScript version. It's basically the JavaScript binding and supports the full Cocos 2D X functionality with a set of simplified JavaScript friendly APIs, uh, which I think is pretty amazing and cool. Cocos 2D JS provides a consistent experience for developers, regardless of the platform you want to distribute to. It can be web or native, such as Android and iOS devices. You code once, you run everywhere. That is their philosophy. It's incredible and easy to use. Uh, nature makes it one of the best engines on the market, like Cocos 2DX. We won. Uh, single JavaScript code base, you can run your game in web browsers and on native platforms including Mac OS X, Windows, iOS and Android. Your game can be published on all major app stores as well as other distribution channels. Furthermore, the JavaScript friendly API makes your game development experience a breeze, easy to code, test and extremely easy to distribute. Cocos 2D JS also offers a Cocos console, which is a scripting tool to simplify the creation of projects and let you start the coding right away. It is a given that you should have a strong foundation in JavaScript before using Cocos 2D JS. An understanding of C++ would also be useful, but not necessary. Also, a understanding in Cocos 2D X would be great if you're already coming from there and moving to JS, that would be fantastic, but if you're not, then don't worry, it's not too much of an issue. C++ may be needed if your game requires some modification of the underlying C++ implementation. Let's go over the two separate versions of Cocos 2D JS. There is the JavaScript binding version, which is built on top of the C++ implementation of Cocos 2DX and runs on devices natively, aka apps, uh, on devices such as iOS and Android. Then there is the native version of Cocos 2D JS which runs in your web browser. But the great thing is you can mix and match the code between the two and run on web and uh, apps on devices. You can get Cocos 2D JS from the Cocos 2 dxorg website then just go to the download link and here it is, download version 3. Version 2.2.3 is obviously an older one, you want the latest one, which as I record in this video is version 3. We will use we, uh, a little information about our tutorials. We will provide the source code via a link in the description for every tutorial that produces code. Also, any tutorial that uses base code, we will also provide that as well. That is it for this series, I mean this part, sorry, not this series. In the next part, we'll be looking at how to set up Cocos 2D JS for iOS. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.